Sports Talk Live is presented by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers who know what it takes to be number one. It's all about drive. What do you remember about him? You know, just a tough, tough guy. But even through all of his toughness, you, you grew to love him, you know. And, you know, he would all, of course, he, we all know he served in the Navy. And he would always bring out these quotes, you know. He would always tell him one of the ones that I remember most is, I don't care how rough the seas are, bring the ship in. Right, he used dock to say the that, boat. He used to say that all the time, okay. Now, and, and he was my assistant coach in Charlotte as well. Well, we all know in North Carolina it doesn't snow that much. So it <laughs> actually snowed that day, and Coach Bach was not able to make it to practice, okay? So we called him up in the locker room. We said, hey, Coach, we don't care how rough the seas are. Bring the ship in, right? <laughs> and he, and ever, you know, ever since that day, he would never let me forget that, you know, he, he didn't bring the ship in that day. You know, the one day in his life he didn't do it. So, you yeah. know, he was, he, he was just a great man. It's amazing when you look back at the Bulls teams. I know you played for them in Charlotte because those assistant coaches were superstars as much as anybody. You know, we knew Tex Winter and Clemens and Johnny Bach, and he's known as the defensive guru, right? What was it about him teaching defense that was so special? Well, you know, I was just telling Mark uh, uh, Shanowski, my partner on, on the postgame show, that he actually helped me set the steals record. In, in the NBA, but he didn't know that he helped me because it, my time in Charlotte, he actually showed me how to play the lanes a lot better where I could bait big men into steals. And he always said, listen, you want to be a Doberman out there. This is how I taught Michael and Scotty how to play the lanes. And, you know, it actually helped me, you know. And uh, he, he was just a, a guy that loved defensive wings. He would love a guy like Jimmy Butler because he gets out on the wings. He gets his hands out and his hands on a lot of balls. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, I have to thank Coach Bach for that. Well, you, you said it, but my favorite thing is I love the release the Dobermans and it, it wasn't like right. the Dobermans weren't released for the whole game there, right. there were moments where it's like all right you know what it's Doberman time yeah. time to release yeah. and he, I always thought he was sort of a contradiction because he he had these like he kind of had he had a mean streak in him in terms of release the Dobermans that's kind of that's sort of mean-spirited but at the same time he was like this really eloquent speaking man who anybody could talk to and he would take time to talk to reporters and players alike. Yeah, you know, one of the things he says, you know, Kendall, I'm a good man willing to enter into evil for the common good. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> you know, that's what he used to say sometimes. So it's ironic that you say that. You know, he told me a story. He was our basketball analyst on this show when it was formerly called Chicago Tribune Live. We had him in studio every week. And so we went to lunch one day. This has got to be two or three years ago. He tells me, he goes, I'm going to tell you a great story. He tells me this story. And then I said, can I use that on the air? <laughs> yeah, when I'm gone, you can use it. Oh, but wow. you can't until I'm gone. And now he's gone. So I told the story on the radio this morning. I'm going to tell it again. So the Bulls are playing the Lakers in the 91 finals. Bulls lose game one at home. They win game two and they go out to L.A. and the forum isn't available for practice. They go to this high school gym to practice. The Lakers are using the floor too. He goes, the Lakers are there. We're waiting outside. Lakers come out. Bulls go in. He goes, I go over to spit in the garbage can and I look and there's Mike Dunleavy's practice plan. He goes, it's torn in pieces. He goes, there is snot. There is tobacco. <laughs> there is half drink soda pop. He goes, chewing gum. Everything's in there. He goes, I take the plastic bag out, I bring it back to my hotel room, he gets rubber gloves, he goes, and I stay up all night, and I put this together like a jigsaw puzzle. Ooh. He goes, I call Phil, I go, we got him. <laughs> and the Bulls never lost another game in that series. Won three straight in L.A., the rest is history. It's an amazing story. 